So, what's this big idea you've got? Small idea, small idea. I mean, that's the magic thing. You could set it up and knock it over in a day, easy. Am I? Mm -hmm. One location, two characters, three camera angles. Two shot, over the shoulder, reverse. Yeah, and? It starts off with these two blokes sitting in a pub having a beer, right? Right. right. And they're talking about making a film about two blokes sitting in a pub having a beer. Talking about making a film. Oh, like, like we're doing now. Exactly. See, it's got that whole multi-layered mirrors within mirrors thing that the punters love. Which punters are these? Any punters. I mean, especially your avant-garde film buff types. What do you think? Well, hang on. I mean, it's got to have something more than that, doesn't it, mate? But, but as a starting point, as a basic idea... Maybe one of the blokes thinks the idea stinks. So it tells the other bloke, and there's the start of your conflict. You think it stinks? No, I didn't say that. I said the bloke could think that. And you're not that bloke? No, I'm not. Not necessarily. Eh? I just said it needed some drama, and that'd be one way of building some into it. One guy's quite keen on the idea, and the other one's not. He's, he's just pouring cold water on it. So... Let's say your character was really into it because he came up with it and he'd been thinking about it for weeks, working up to the big moment where he shares it with his mate. And then I could just sit here all aloof. Is that the sort of thing you're talking about? Yeah, or something. Or something? Yeah, or something. But probably something else as well, you know, to really crank it up. Maybe your character gets sick of me accusing you of not liking my precious little idea. So uh, you jump up and start building the shit out of me. And it all ends in a dining brook with smashed furniture and blood and biffo and all the bloody rest of it. How about that? Yeah. That's good. That's it! Are you serious? Yeah. Why not? Because it's the most predictable and tedious ending anyone's ever thought of. Yeah. I suppose. What about a sex scene? We could slot one of those in there somewhere. They're always popular with the punters. Couldn't hurt. Well, you could have sex with the barmaid. You mean, they could? Who? The characters in the film. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They could. They could fuck everyone in the pub if we wanted them to, mate. But yeah. uh, unless we're talking about a straight out porn flick here, you've got to give them some kind of motive, you know, that has some kind of purpose and consequence within the narrative structure. Yeah, that's the tricky bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's what they have writers for, mate. Mm. What if uh, one of them just came up with some idea about how he had to go and see his girlfriend and be on his way? Well, that'd be a bit flat, wouldn't it? Bit of an anti-climax. Well, not if you made it fit in with the whole avant-garde thing. Throw in some severe camera angles, bit of dramatic music, maybe go black and white. Ah, oh, mate, I don't know. Think about it. Avant-garde. What's that mean? It's just a French way of saying I've got no fucking idea where my story's going, so I'll just drive it home with some heavy attitudes and a reckless music score. You think it's going nowhere? Will the punters go for that? Fuck the punters, mate. Look, if you want to go seriously experimental, you've got to learn to despise your audience. Imagine this. You start to fade in some of that plinky, plonky piano music, just as my character finishes his beer and glazes over all dark and enigmatic. Pause. Meaningful pause. What is the pshhh? Maybe I even stare right down the barrel of the camera for a minute, for effect. Then the music pushes up a bit, gets a bit more dramatic. Then we both turn on our stools and face away from each other. Now the music's stabbing and the camera angles are cutting like a madman with a knife as we both freeze in a heart-rending tableau of human suffering. And angst. Broken. It's like the highbrow version of the pub brawl where it's the minds that are swinging the punches. And then all the characters at the other tables could like face away from each other too to symbolise the conflict between the central characters. 
It's like nothing can ever be truly done to really bring these two friends back together, even though that's what they want so desperately. Yeah, that was it. Alright, people, that's a wrap. <laughs>